I just felt like putting this in the intro, but look, it's Hipster Simba! Yay! Hey guys, it's Alyssa, and this is the ninth episode of Alyssa Explains It All. Nine! We're almost up to ten! Oh my god! I feel like we just started, and now we're almost done with the freshman... I, I can't... No! No! This episode is gonna be about real college versus movie college. In movies, they show college in a certain way. They only show the fun side of college. Sometimes they show the really boring side of college. But of course we all know that movies aren't real. They're just depicted images of what people perceive as real life. I mean, if you just had a movie of a college kid sitting in a class for like two hours and then they go to another class for two hours, and they go back to their dorm and they eat, do homework, and then they study, 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 and then they sleep. Not a fun type of movie. College is not like movies. I'm gonna talk about three things that are different about college in real life and college in the movies because I know when I came into college, I had no, no idea about what real college life was. I only knew things from what media has told me. So the first thing is obviously classes. When you see movies, like with classes, they usually show really, really boring classes so that the main character can at least be bored or they have to wait until the exciting part happens during class. In real life, it's kind of the same, kind of not. You do have classes that are extremely boring. There are two different types of classes that you can go to. You could have a huge lecture hall class, but in college, and especially here at Oswego, that's not the only type of class that you have. There are some classes that are maybe only 12 people, maybe only 20 people. You are, your, your professor knows who you are. You, they help you out as much as they can. You have more of a connection with your professor. If you're in a lecture hall class, you have a 100, 200 group of people. That's a little bit different than in the movies where you just sit around and you do nothing. But there are classes that actually are fun, like, there are some teachers who make it really enjoyable. Second thing about colleges and real life, and colleges in the movies, is the partying. Okay, we've seen all those movies where they have the crazy college kids who are partying nonstop, and they party, 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 and the next morning they wake up and they don't remember anything, or there's trash all around their dorm rooms, or like people are naked and running around in the middle of the night going toga, toga. At college, it's not the case unless you make it the case. Everybody thinks that college is all about partying. Woo, I'm gonna party every night. But not everybody parties. That's the thing that movies depict, that you need to party in college. You don't need to do anything that you don't wanna do. You can party, drink responsibly, and remember to still do all your work and to still maintain your responsibilities of college life. You don't have to party if you don't really want to. You don't have to go out at 10 o'clock at night on a Friday or a Thursday and get drunk and then come back the next day and realize you have a test. Third and final thing that is different about real life college and movie college is the clubs and activities that they have on the campus. One of my favorite movies now is Pitch Perfect. In the movie they have a part where they go to the variety fair. Becca, who's the main character, joins an acapella group and in every single part of the movie she's a part of the acapella group. I feel like in some college movies they only depict you in that specific group. Like, that's all you do in your life. In college here at Oswego, you can join as many clubs as you want as long as you balance out, like, your life, pretty much. But there's a bunch of clubs here, and you don't have to get involved in just one main club that you really desire. There's a wide variety of clubs. There's WTOP News, which you don't have to be a broadcasting or communication major to get into. The Ski Club, Hockey Intramurals, there's Sports Intramurals, there's... The video game club, there's a bunch of clubs. You can make your own club, but you don't have to be dedicated to it. And those are just some things that I think media and movies have depicted about college that just aren't true. They're more exaggerated. You're awesome, I'm awesome, and you should press the subscribe button on this channel to get more of videos that, that I made and videos about us we go in general. Do you have a Tumblr account? I do. If you don't, you should make one. It's a lot of fun. And guess what? Oswego has a Tumblr account and you should follow it if you have a Tumblr and you can get updated on things that are happening here at Oswego. You should also check out my personal videos if you haven't. Just look up my name, Alyssa Lumberg, 
in the YouTube search bar and my personal channel will pop up. Like this video! And I'll see you guys in the next episode, which will probably be out in a week, okay? In a week. Ooh, this is exciting. I can't wait. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys then. There's some people who don't party at all. Look how I turned out. I turned out fine.